Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Carl. I drive a 95 Volvo white GMC, as they called it. Just a couple weeks ago, I had a hard start issue. I have a Detroit 60 Series 12.7 liter engine and uh, it just start acting up. Just wouldn't start. The reason why I'm posting this video is because I've read a lot of forums where truckers having the same problems and uh, they had to take it into the dealer to get it checked out and it cost them a lot of money. I myself, I know a little bit about mechanic, but uh, I'm not really a diesel mechanic. I mostly work on cars. But getting to the point, I uh, went to Freightliner when I'm having that starting issue. I went to Freightliner and I I purchased a TRS sensor. It's a sensor right below the compressor. Right below the air compressor. And I replaced that, but before I replaced that, I thought it was the check valve. So nevertheless, I ended up changing the check valve. So I have a brand new check valve now. But it was still acting up. Could not figure out the problem. I called quite a few mechanics and they said it's the injectors or the injector seals but you know deep down inside of my heart I'm figuring it might be something simple again take long to start I have my hands on the button I gotta keep hitting the, the accelerator you know for the truck to start nevertheless I went to the dealership and I purchased the TRS sensor or the crank sensor rather and I replaced that. It took me five minutes to do. Guys, you could do it. Just take your time with a curved needle, nose pliers. Pull the boat. It's a 13 millimeter boat. Uh, nut, rather. And a uh, bolt, yeah. Pull it out. Replace it. Plug it back up. And that was the problem. My truck cranked right up. I uh, went to deliver my load. I slept about eight hours, ten hours. When I, you know, turn the truck on, ignition on, and hit that start button, boom, the truck start right up. So guys, if you're having issue with your truck, Detroit 60 Series, 12.7 liter engine not starting, first thing you do is go ahead, check the TRS sensor, or the crank sensor, the sensor right below the compressor. I hope this video help a lot of guys out there because trust me it will save you a lot of money again this is Carl this is for my drivers out there